you want to get into UT Austin, I'm going to help you do it. Tip number one, below this video is a link to my classic article, How to Get into the Ivy League Ethically. Read it from start to finish. Yes, UT Austin is not an Ivy League school officially. However, to get into UT Austin, particularly from out of state, is quite a feat and it's quite selective. And you want to put yourself in the position that by the summer before your senior year, you've done everything that an Ivy League applicant would be have, would be doing in order to best position yourself for admission to UT Austin by your senior year. That article is going to help you do it. Tip number two, you also have an amazing opportunity on the UT application, particularly the supplement to the UT Common App. Uh, where you can upload a full-fledged, unabridged extracurricular resume to augment what you enter into the activities page of the Common App. So below this video, there is a link to my awesome course, How to Build an Extraordinary Extracurricular Resume. You want to purchase that course or rent that course. It is going to give you the tips you need to build out an unabridged resume about yourself that is going to be able to go deeper into detail about your awesome extracurricular accomplishments so that in addition to the activities page, which you will fill out completely on the Common App, you will also be able to upload an impressive extracurricular resume that will better contextualize what you have been up to since the summer before you started high school. So the college admissions officers at UT Austin will see the depth and breadth of your extracurricular profile and consider that when considering your overall candidacy for admission. Tip number three. There is a priority deadline at UT Austin, and there is a regular deadline at UT Austin. Use the priority deadline if at all possible. It's called priority for a reason. Your application will receive priority consideration if you apply by November 1st as a first-year applicant, as opposed to December 1st as a first-year applicant. Get your ducks in a row early in order to give yourself the best shot of admission to UT Austin. The next tip I would say is make sure that when selecting what major you are applying for that you've given that a lot of thought. Don't just pick willy-nilly. Look back at your extracurricular exploits. Think back to the courses you really liked and make sure you select something that would be aligned with authentically who you truly are and who you truly want to become. If there's no proof or evidence in your profile that you would be a good fit for a particular major, you're going to be a less compelling applicant for that major. So hopefully there are hints in your application, i.e. your extracurricular resume, how you've performed in particular classes, what classes you've taken, what summer activities you've engaged in, that um, you are on a trajectory where it makes perfect sense to the admissions officers that you should be accepted to the program you're applying for, as opposed to becoming sort of more of a head scratcher as to why are you applying to this major we have no proof that this would be a good major for you. And all, all the proof we have is that you wrote a little essay about it, which we're going to be talking about in a minute in the UT supplement, but that's not backed up by any proof in the pudding, as they say. Make sure there is proof in the pudding so you have the best shot of getting in to UT Austin as a first-year applicant, which many people want to do, both from Texas and from out of state. Now, I mentioned just a moment ago that there are different tracks for UT applicants from in-state versus out-of-state, there is a law, there are statutes in Texas that say that if you graduate in the top 6% of a high school class in Texas, you are guaranteed admission currently to UT Austin. Congratulations. That's how you get in as an in-state student uh, in Texas, as a resident of Texas. That's your ticket in to UT Austin. But even for those students who are guaranteed that automatic admit to UT Austin, your application will still be reviewed holistically to determine if you are going to be granted the major you are selecting on your application. So when we talk about the essays in a couple minutes, you still want to knock those all out of the park in order to have the most compelling shot of not only getting into UT Austin, which you may have already secured because maybe you're in the top one or two or three or four or five or six percent of your high school class in Texas, but that you also have the best shot of getting the major you're selecting on the UT application. Uh, all out-of-state applicants and those who are not in the top six percent are reviewed holistically as well. Um, and so that's why we want to focus the rest of this uh, particular video on the essay prompts for the University of Texas at Austin that appear on the supplement to the common application. Um, and here they are. Number one, a required essay of 500 to 700 words in response to this question. Tell us your story. What unique 
opportunities or challenges have you experienced throughout your high school career that have shaped who you are today? This is very similar in length to the common application essay that you are probably putting together for other colleges on your list, even if UT Austin is your first choice. If you already have a common application essay that is beautiful, that is done, that is original, that is articulate, use it in most cases for this essay because University of Texas Austin will not review your common app essay in their holistic review. It's one of those colleges that will not review whatever you put into the Common App essay field on the common portion of the Common App. Instead, you should simply take whatever you were planning to write for your Common App essay and put it into your response for this essay on the UT supplement to the Common App. However, there are two caveats. If you are writing in response to Common App prompt number four or Common App prompt number six, those prompts don't always translate over well to responding to this prompt. So you may have to either start from scratch or rework your Common App essay in order to best align it with this prompt, which is, again, tell us your story, what unique opportunities or challenges have you experienced throughout your high school career that have shaped who you are today. If you're watching this video and you've not yet put together a Common App essay and your first choice school is UT Austin, you might be best advised to respond to this prompt first and draft this essay first and then use whatever strong essay comes out of that process and use it as your common app essay later for any other colleges you're applying to um, because it doesn't work both ways all the time. Most of the common app essays can be easily used for the UT Austin essay, but not all can. So you just got to be careful about that. In terms of how you want to structure your UT Austin essay, that is 500 or 700 words in response to that prompt that I just read. And that is also copied and pasted below this video in the information section on this video. Um, I would say structure like a traditional five paragraph essay, introduction paragraph with a thesis statement. The next paragraph will have, or paragraph two or three maybe even, will be supporting body paragraphs that prove the thesis that you state in your introduction, par introduction paragraph. And the last paragraph should not just restate the thesis in new words, but say something new and incisive and thought provoking. Uh, that makes you a more likable person and a more likable candidate by the end so that any application reader at UT Austin really feels satisfied by the time they finish reading your UT Austin main essay. Beyond that 500, seven, 500 to 700 word essay on the UT application supplement, uh, you have three more additional short essays that are required of you. Number one, why are you interested in the major you indicated as your first choice major? This should focus on true proof of what you have been fascinated by up to this point and why are you excited to explore it specifically at UT Austin. So you can allude to things that you've done in your past or research in your past and why you've arrived at this desire for majoring in business, let's say, or majoring in biology. But then you want to also transition at some point in those 300 words to showing how you would pursue that major using specific anecdotes or details of opportunities within that major that are only available within the major at UT Austin, but maybe not available at other colleges that offer that same major. So that, that way they're really clear that you've not only done your research into why you're interested in this major, but also why you majoring in that at UT Austin is the perfect fit. So they're going to be more likely to say, we need to accept the student. Prompt number two, Two, in the short answer section of the supplement to the UT Common Application, describe how your experiences, perspectives, talents, and or your involvement in leadership activities at your school, job, community, or within your family will help you make an impact both in and out of the classroom while enrolled at UT. So this is your opportunity to share a trait or two or a characteristic or two that really define who you are, explain briefly how you've, uh, you know, exercise that trait or characteristic in the past, and then paint a picture of how you would continue to demonstrate that behavior, trait, or characteristic at UT Austin. Again, by being as specific as you possibly can, uh, maybe by joining a specific club or specific team or uh, engaging in a particular research that's already happening at UT Austin. Get very in the weeds. Get very specific do not write in generalities. This is not a puff piece where you can just say, I'm a nice guy, so I want to get involved in community service. No, that's way too general, lacking specificity. You need to get more specific. Specific is important. Specificity is next to godliness on, a, on an application 
like this, you want to get as specific as possible. So get very hyper specific to the point where if you are interested in film, then you should be name dropping a film program or film club that you see yourself hitting the ground running, engaging with from your first semester at UT Austin um, and explain yourself as to why you will make an impact, be an impact player within that club or activity or engagement. Next question. The core purpose of the University of Texas at Austin is to transform lives for the benefit of society. Please share how you believe your experience at UT Austin will prepare you to change the world after you graduate. So this is both a current and forward-looking essay in the sense that you're going to describe that by doing X, Y, and Z at UT Austin, which is what you're envisioning, what you're planning, you're going to be setting yourself up to do A, B, and C upon graduation, and you're going to be able to do it more successfully, sooner, more, you know, in, in an impressive manner as a result of engaging in that type of behavior that you described in the beginning of this, this short essay um, at UT Austin in particular. Um, UT Austin is uniquely preparing you to change the world the way you want to change it. It doesn't have to be, I want to create world peace or I want to lower world temperatures by five degrees Fahrenheit. Instead, which may be too cold, right? I don't know. But the point being, instead, it can be very personal or local. Like maybe you want to learn how to be a leader so you can run for city council in your town. Or maybe you want to uh, learn how to engage with diverse people from all over the world so that um, you can be a better doctor one day. So it doesn't have to be so grandiose, uh, but you want to be able to fixate on one or two things that you want to do to change the world, either very personally or very locally or even globally, and then work backwards from how getting from point A, U to Texas, UT Austin, excuse me, to that point, how that's going to happen and how you feel like UT Austin is going to supercharge your journey to changing the world the way you want to change the world in a positive way. And then finally, there's an optional essay question. I usually only recommend students who've had a very severe blip on their academic record uh, use this question and really respond to it because it is optional. But this question is, please share background on events or special circumstances that you feel may have impacted your high school academic performance. Again, do not use this if you're just generally a C student. That's not going to help um, in most cases. I mean, unless maybe you just found out you have a learning difference like the last semester in junior year, and that explains everything. And now you're just getting straight A's because um, you have an accommodation that you didn't have before. But that's relatively rare. Um, but you could theoretically explain that. Usually the best essays that work here would be, God forbid, something happened. Um, you know, you got injured, someone died in your family, maybe you had a move or, or your parents got divorced or something like that. And you had a bad year or you had a bad semester or just even maybe a bad month. And that is the reason why you have one B where everything else is C's or you have one D when everything else is A's. Um, so, you know, that, that is what you really need to be explaining here. Um, if you choose to respond to this, this prompt, most of my applicants to UT Austin do not need to respond to this prompt. And I would not respond to this prompt. If this is going to raise more questions than answers. You want to be able to nip any issue in the bud here. And if you can't do it in 250 to 300 words, probably you, you're not going to have the best shot of getting into UT Austin anyway. Um, but it may not be the most appropriate way in which to uh, write here because it, you don't want to raise more questions than answers. Okay. Otherwise, I think I've given you the advice you need to give yourself the very best shot of getting into UT Austin, which again is a very popular choice increasingly. It's one of the most popular public institutions now in the United States. Don't mess with Texas. I hope this video has given you the best shot to get in. And I know it has, in fact. Uh, if you want to be a Longhorn, I wish you the very best and continue to watch my future videos where we'll talk about other colleges that you may want to get into. Subscribe to this channel. Follow along and tell your friends. And if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout your college guidance or admissions process, you can visit my website at collegemeister.com. Until next time, stay safe and stay well. Bye-bye.